All right, you feather merchants. This uh, incident that I want to talk about happened back in uh, the 60s when I was in the Marine Corps. And I was on my uh, second tour on uh, Okinawa. And uh, we were uh, in uh, Japan uh, at Mount Fuji doing some kind of a training there. And um, anyway, uh, we were uh, staying in Camp Fuji. And um, when we weren't out in the field training, uh, they would let us uh, have liberty on uh, the weekends. And uh, Mount Fuji was a short distance from uh, a town called Gotimba. And uh, Gotimba had a train station. And um, when I uh, had an opportunity to uh, go on liberty, I would... Uh, catch a train from Gotemba to either Yokohama or Tokyo. But I preferred uh, Yokohama back then. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I, uh, like I said, I was on my second tour. It was the second time I had been to uh, uh, Mount Fuji, so I was, I was real familiar with uh, Yokohama at the time. And um, I, uh, I was walking down the street, and... Um, hoping that I could <laughs> run into uh, some uh, female companionship, you know, you never know. And uh, I'll be darned, uh, somebody, I heard a voice, a woman's voice from behind me, and uh, she said, uh, Jim, Jim, I turned around, and I mean, this is unbelievable. She says, oh, I thought you were someone else. I mean, she just pulled a name out of a hat, you know, and <laughs> and uh, dummy me, you know, I'm not, uh, I wasn't smart enough to pick up on that, but I thought, uh, boy, that I, I think I might get luckier. So anyway, uh, I, I told her, I said, you're not going to believe this, but uh, my name's Jim. And uh, of course, she acted really <laughs> surprised, you know, she probably was, and um so she was uh, very attractive, uh, probably my age, maybe um, she could have been a year older, but she was right there in my age group. And uh, anyway, I asked her if uh, she wanted to uh, have a drink, and uh, she said, yeah. So uh, we uh, went into this real nice lounge uh, that was close by, and um, uh, we had a couple of sakis. And, uh, I uh, I asked her if uh, she'd like to spend an, uh, the night with me, you know, and uh, she said, uh, yeah. So I thought, oh, this is uh, incredible, you know. She wasn't she wasn't a hooker. Uh, she was worse than that, <laughs> which uh, I'll get to in a minute. Uh, but anyway, uh, I spent the evening with her, and uh, like I said, she was very very attractive. Uh, smart girl, and uh, so uh, we uh, uh, left the hotel in the morning, and uh, she said she was going to show me around o uh, Yokohama, and so we spent the day um, going to different places in Yokohama, and um, anyway, uh, it came time to, uh, it was getting uh, kind of uh, dark out, and uh, she told me, she said uh, she'd like to spend the night with me again, but she would uh, like to spend it <clears throat> in some place nicer than uh, where I had uh, uh, chosen. And I told her, I said, I didn't have the money for that. And she says, no, no, you don't understand. You don't have to have any money. She says, this is on me. And um, she, uh, we got on a train, which was a short walk, uh, we were a short walk from the station, and uh, I think we only uh, went maybe uh, two or three stops towards uh, Tokyo, and uh, we got off the train, and it was uh, maybe uh, about a two-block walk or a three-block walk to uh, this uh, really nice Japanese inn, and uh, I thought, oh, this is... Uh, uh, going to be expensive. And she said, don't, don't worry about it. She said, I got this. 
and uh, so uh, we got a room and uh, very nice room all Japanese style and it had a big bathroom with uh, a, a wooden tub hot tub and of course shower and all that and uh, anyway uh, she ordered uh, uh, food for us and uh, oh, you know Japanese food uh, there's nothing I, I don't like when it comes to Japanese food anyway uh, uh, they brought the food for us and uh, then she said um, uh, why don't we get in a, a hot tub I thought <laughs> yeah it sounds good to me so uh, I uh, take a shower and uh, I uh, while I'm taking a shower, she told me, she said, uh, you know what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, go to the store and get us uh, a bottle of sake. And I thought, oh, okay. And uh, so I take a shower, I get in a hot tub. I'm in the hot tub and uh, all those Japanese hot tubs, they're hot. <laughs> anyway, uh, real relaxing and I'm in the hot tub. And... Uh, I'm there for a long enough where I'm thinking, what happened to this girl? And uh, so I get out of the tub and I dry off. I get my uh, uh, kimono on and uh, uh, I got a knock on the door. And uh, the lady that runs the inn, she told me, she said, uh, uh, was your girlfriend coming back? And I said, yeah, she was... Uh, just going to the store to get a bottle of sake. She said, well, I just saw her go to the train station and get on a train. And I thought, oh no. So I checked my wallet. Uh, my wallet was empty. <laughs> the watch <clears throat> that I had uh, purchased at the PX was gone. I guess she didn't have anything to tell time at with. And um, the ring that I had bought in uh, Hong Kong uh, she decided that uh, she'd like to take that too. And so she took that. But she was nice enough to leave me uh, my uh, uh, train ticket that I'd already purchase, purchased uh, going back to uh, Gotemba. Anyway, the lady, she was really nice. She said, look, she says, uh, you got a problem. She said, don't worry about it. She said, just spend the night now. Well, We'll talk to the police about it in the morning. So uh, morning came and a cop came and uh, took all my information and uh, we uh, described what the girl looked like and uh, the name she gave me, uh, which I, I don't recall now, but I don't think it was uh, her real name. Um, but anyway, um, it was a sad story. I felt bad about it. Uh, but what really made me feel bad is uh, I had I I told the lady uh, I'll send the money right, and um, you know I never did that. I took that note with me with all their information and how much your own cost, and uh, I took it uh, with me and uh, back to uh, the base and back to Okinawa and. Uh, I still had it when I was living in the States, and uh, somehow it got misplaced, and I might have even thrown it away. I don't know. But I, I always felt bad about not sending that money to her in um, today's uh, dollars, and I have no idea uh, the name of the place, how to even find it, and uh, if it even existed. And uh, we've taken several trips back to Japan uh, since I moved to uh, Thailand. And uh, I love that country. Um, and uh, we uh, spent quite a bit of time in uh, Yokohama. And you know something? I felt that girl's presence there. I thought, you know what? I don't remember your name, but I know you're still here. <laughs> and she's either uh, somebody's grandmother or uh, more than likely a uh, great-grandmother. And if she uh, continued on her life of crime, she might be running uh, some kind of a, a criminal organization. I don't know, but uh, I wouldn't know her if I saw her today because, uh, I mean, she wouldn't look the same for sure, just like uh, 
I don't look the same. Anyway, um, you feather merchants, I thought I'd share that story with you. And uh, for a lot of you young guys out there, I was like, uh, I was about 20 years old when this happened. And uh, I, was, uh, I was street smart back then, but I'll tell you something. Uh, you take a girl the same age, uh, and uh, uh, they can see you coming a mile away. And she was smarter than me, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, you feather merchants, uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll see you next on the next video. All right.